Welcome back to the Arkham Reporter channel. Uh, here is going to be the beginning of a Let's Play of the Shore. It's a Lovecraftian game um, that is cam that came out a few days ago. I'm sorry I didn't play it upon release, but I was in Kazan, Russia. Uh, that's about uh, Central Asia part more of Russia. I just got back. I'm on like two hours of sleep. Um, I'm running on Red Bull fumes basically to stay awake and I have a cold um, no it's not corona <laughs> uh, so excuse my voice excuse my nasaliness but it's a bit blocked anyway uh, long story short this game is blowing up in the Lovecraft community um, a lot of good reviews a lot of mixed reviews as well to be fair but you know that's how it always is um, I'm gonna be uploading I'll probably just do one video tonight when you see this but as of tomorrow, I'm going to be uploading pretty much two a day. Uh, and I will also have some other content coming for people who don't really care about games. Uh, and on those days, I'm just going to probably do one Let's Play video and one of the other content videos. Plus, I do have the uh, February newsletter coming out. That's all going well. And all the other videos, they are on like 99% finished. I know in the past I've always been a bit flaky with uh, uploading on time, but really guys, I'm so goddamn productive lately. I'm really just jumping into this um, YouTube thing again, and I'm really loving it. So yeah, I'm going to this game completely raw. Uh, I just played a little bit just to make sure that the audio was recording properly. Um, yeah, I played like uh, a few minutes of the demo a while ago, but that was it. So I'm going into this game brand new and fresh so let's get into it Ellie. my dear Ellie I have to find her okay we're back this part I I recognized already from the the demo but I've never got further than pretty much that boat hmm so um, yeah from what I know about the game is that it is set on an island and um, it's an island that's a little bit strange. If you played Tomb Raider, the remake, uh, yeah, it's kind of in that sort of vein. And that's the kind of feeling I got from the few message in the bottles that I read. We've been arguing with John about how many actual days have passed since we ended up here. It seems that all of our hopes are drifting away, like these bottles should do. They always return to the island as if something is leading them back here. If you are reading this, we need your help. So, if you haven't played the Tomb Raider game, the, the remake, I really recommend it. It's a great game. And it kind of ties into what's happening here in that this is island that people got stranded on and they cannot escape it because there is some force keeping them there now that how I really unironically always thought that love that there was some Lovecraft influence or stylings in the Tomb Raider game although it was based on Japanese folklore and mythology a shred of hope oh what a man needs to keep moving before he loses his sanity and his will Walking along the shore reminded me of the walks I used to have with my wife. Hmm. It's very true. If you don't have hope in life, even a fraction of it, you might as well just end it all. You need hope. Without it, you don't get anything done. Hmm. So, just imagine this context is that you wake up on this island like this. Everything is dead and desolate and rotting and volcanic rock and dreary. It's a very aesthetic game. Apparently it's made in Greece. Uh, it's made by like a one-man studio or a very small studio. So, although it's not a triple A game, I hope you guys are not the type who thinks that, oh, only triple A games are the ones worth playing. Uh, that's not the case at all. We armed ourselves and walked along the shore. To our surprise, we came across other ships that had wrecked without any trace of survivors. 
It was like a graveyard for ships. Our compass goes mad any time we try to set a course off the island. Our captain says it's because of the volcanic dust. We think he's gone mad. Sounds like the captain was right. Hmm. So. Well, I mean, being trapped on an island that you cannot escape, there is immediate sense of claustrophobia, which is a, a fear that I think a lot of us have. You know, how can you not escape? You are trapped there like a prisoner. Immediate if you can speak of a fisherman who was lost in a stranded sea. He never came back. Now I know where he lies. What misfortunes could have drove him here? Hmm. As soon as you are unable to escape, you feel the need to escape, isn't it? It's one of these human nature type things, you know. And looking at this island, it does not seem that hospitable. The eternal question in any game, who always lights the candles? So as I'm saying, this is all completely new to me. I, I just really messed around over that part just to get a feel of the controls. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, shit. I've offered my right arm and spoke the correct words in his absence. Only pain accompanies me towards my demise. I was forced to leave the lighthouse. There's something wrong in all of us. Only the slumbering god can save us now. What god the is he talking about? Cthulhu, earlier, Wagnatha, Fatagan. What god indeed. One, one common trait that you see a lot in Lovecraftian stories, uh, even just adaptations and such, is that the perversion of the human. Humans degrade themselves or mutilate themselves. Either due, from, due to madness or something like this, or... It, it just always highlights the... Oh, it just highlights how destructive we can be to ourselves, you know, when we are faced with these these entities or these, these forces. If you look at the, the Color Out of Space, the recent film adaptation, especially the girl who was all into Wicca and that sort of stuff, she eventually just, the color is pouring out of her, it just sort of, and you also you see the mother and the little boy. If you haven't seen the film, uh, no spoilers, but... Yeah, the perversion and the destruction of the human. That type of thing is so common in a Lovecraft thing. And that they could pick up something like that. I think that's a good sign for this game. But let's go read what is this about. Who carved these? I cannot read it. And I cannot go out too far into the water at all. Hmm. There's definitely a sense of discomfort in this game, and that is so vital to a Lovecraft story. The sense of discomfort that, like, nah, you should not be here. I always summarized it as such, that imagine if you are on a... You're standing on um, a completely horizontal plank of wood or something, right? And then slowly, ever so slowly, it starts to tilt by a few angles downwards. Eventually you start to slip a little bit and that makes you anxious and the more you slip the more anxious you get But the tilt it keeps on going 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 and eventually you're scrambling up on the wood like frantic That I always thought is How a Lovecraft story is Like the more you get into it the more you realize no 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 I got to do something you know something makes you uncomfortable and then for example this <laughs> Weird. Something makes you uncomfortable and then you try and scramble up. You don't, you're not desperate at first. You're just like, oh, that's weird. That's a bit uncomfortable. Just like you're on the wood and you're like, oh, maybe I should just scooch up a little bit more. You know, to get comfortable because it seems it's, it's tilting a little bit. 
and then you go a little bit more and more and then you realize i got to i got to scramble and then you got you realize that there's nowhere else to go and then that's a lovecraftian story i don't know why but that always seems like the best metaphor so who set up these things Hmm, we have two paths. What is that? And the lighthouse. Well, I think obviously the lighthouse, right? As we sinked our feet in the sand for the last time, she asked me to tell her one of my stories about the wild sea. I could hear each of her breaths being shorter and shorter. And by the time I finished my story, Ammonia took her life. Hmm. So as for the time frame of this game, well, first of all, okay, like, look at the clothing. Nobody dresses like that today. Look at the technology of the boats that we've seen. This lighthouse is pretty primitive. Hmm. So I think it's set as a lot of Lovecraftian pastiches and stories are in the 1920s and 30s. Look at this art. Hmm. I saw in the trailer that these things go down, so must figure that one out. The immediate thoughts that come to mind is that, okay, who built this? Who put that there, that statue? Hmm. And there's almost a sense of danger going in. Because, well... We also... You know, it's the lighthouse. That's like the center point of the island. I know I should go in, but hold on a second. It's the center point of the island, right? So, there's going to be a lot of eyes on that part. It almost feels like uh, you should not be just wandering in. Hmm, here's another barrier. Hmm. Oh yeah, and and also you should tell me in the comment section because I'm I'm really dead tired right now. <laughs> uh, but is the audio okay? My voice in comparison with the music of the game uh, and the sound effects of the game. Yeah, I, I'm really just <laughs> I'm so keen to play this game and just upload it. Uh, but tell me in the comments if everything's all right, and then you know for the future installments I'll do a lot better. ominous phrase in the cosmos there are things we know and things unknown and in between there are windows hmm. better not gaze through those windows right oh going back to the age a penny farthing I love this aesthetic. Any story set by the sea. Oh. Any story set by the sea. Oh. I I just I just have a, a soft spot for them because I grew up in a, a fishing village in South Africa. Actually, you know, it was um on the other side of the peninsula where the creator of the the love uh, the Lovecraft adaptation, the color out of the space. Um, he grew up in South Africa too. I grew up on the other side of the peninsula as him. <laughs> Small world. The forms of the sculpture are unknown to me. They're known to me, that's an elder thing. Beautiful though. Beautiful. The 
Look at these creatures. What is that? These coins are everywhere. Truly. But I cannot pick them up or collect them, it seems. Hmm. That broom is out of place. That looks modern. Everything else looks old. What else have we got here? No eyelids, a short blue tongue, shark eyes. Some creature that exists on this island. Hmm. Alright guys, when it comes to parts like this where there's no vocals or anyone reading it, I'm just going to leave it long enough on the screen that you can pause the video to read and I'll do that in editing but for the sake of uh, speeding things along and creating a concise oh a concise video for everyone I won't read everything out aloud especially not tonight my voice is very bad Jesus look at this oh I collected it This is so cozy. I, I would like literally, unironically, be fine with living in a place like this. I know it sounds dodgy, but you know that's how I would feel. All right, up we go. I don't know if there are any weapons in this game, whatsoever. I don't have any. It doesn't seem to be. It doesn't seem that I have any any. I'm clicking the buttons, there's nothing like punching or kicking or... Hmm. Let's see. I'm out here. Doesn't seem to be any movement. Hmm. I have to get past that thing there, in the middle of the screen, to walk across. There's a dead shark there, a big one. I can go that way as well. And look at that monolith sticking out. Let's see. Oh, oh! Did you see that? Where, where, the, where the seagull is, right there, there was movement. There was some creature there, something humanoid. You saw it, right? Just go pause the video and go back a little bit. That was... I'm not just seeing that. I saw that. I'm not just seeing things from tiredness. Fuck, what was that? That was one of the creatures that we saw in the, in the pamphlet that we saw just downstairs. A deep one? Hmm. Everything's so broken here as well. It's like the lighthouse got it violently attacked or something. Look at that. This island is... It feels already like a prison, almost. There's a piece missing. It's like a deep one, a really advanced one or something. So this is a painting of that, but... I swear I saw something towards the horizon, behind the mist. It wasn't a whale, or a great white shark. Its many legs stretched a hundred feet. Submerging its body into the sea. It crawled as if it was infected by mm. a thousand parasites. From its tentacle mouth, it spit out black, disgusting, and disfigured blob like figures. The moment they fell into the sea, 
They swam away faster than a dolphin. As the mist kept rising, I could barely see the creature. That wasn't a good sign. I should start placing those talismans I found at the bottom of the lighthouse around the pathways we made. Hmm. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? Jesus Christ, this... A, a Shoggoth? What the hell, man? What the hell? What? That wasn't there before. And music, uh, there's nothing. Oh, it's. T what is. It's a seagull just chilling. Alright. Fucking hell, what was that? How do I get there? I have to go through there. Go along. This dead shark. Then go around. It looks like a meteorite crash, and it's like the same color from the film, the color out of space. But what the hell? What the hell, lads? And that... We just saw that thing by the... I'm, I'm telling you, I saw it. I hope you guys can see it as well. There was something by that boat over there. Oh, man, oh, man. More of these coins. I've turned on the light out. I feel like that that, that that's perhaps not the best thing to do. To signal that the lighthouse is occupied now. Can I turn it off? No. Why is the glass all broken? Something attacked. I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. This is not the place to be at all. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. I have no way to defend myself either. I don't think this game is just a walking simulator, but I don't know if you have any sort of weapon. I know weapons in a Lovecraft game sort of defeat the point, but nonetheless, I would settle for that stick on the floor. I would settle for that wrench. Anything. It's it's human nature to have some something that you can defend yourself with, even if it's futile. Why is it so quiet as well? Ah, uh, shh. Oh, gosh. All right, all right. <laughs> what? It opened. It didn't before. Was it? I tried it. What is that? What is that? Is that thing alive? That's like what I saw there, man. How did they manage to let him die in here? What made them forsake their civil ways? What the hell? What the hell? I feel very, very uneasy. Is that the chess piece? There's a chess board up there. Oh, God. But it's a human or... The weird writing on the wall. 
Oh man, we are getting a lot of... <sighs> we are getting a lot of stuff right at one go. Who is this? Locked up. Some handprint. What? <laughs> but who would have designed this? See, this is the kind of ah. There's something behind there. I cannot get to it. Let's go out again. Let's go out again. I I. No, no, let's, 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 vamos, vamonos, get out, get out, get out, get out, sir, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, ah, uh, this is a lot to take in, guys, I, uh, I think I'm gonna stop here, actually, for now, uh, I'm dead tired, <laughs> I don't want to go into this game, like, half awake, I want to do a proper let's play of this and yeah, I want to make videos that, oh, nothing happened. Well guys, we will figure this out in the next video, um, tomorrow I, I don't have work, uh, so <laughs> I'll be at home, I'll be doing let's plays of this, I'll be making a lot, uploading them, uh, scheduling them for release. Oh man, so far this game is impressing me. It's ticking a lot of boxes. Even if it might be some of the stuff on the nose. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, sorry this is not the best start to Let's Play, but I'm exhausted. My voice is broken and I'm amazed so far. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning? No. I'll see you guys in a few hours uh, on the next day. I uh, hope everyone's well and I'll see you in the comment section. Cheers.